Hello and welcome to the DSP Project, your weekly fix of music production and technology. I am your host, Rupert Brown, and I am coming to you from a very, very, very hot room. It is, uh, we're in the middle of London's two-day summer right now, and uh, it is sweltering, so you'll have to excuse me if I'm, uh, if I'm a bit shiny. But uh, anyway, we are here today to talk about the TC Electronic Level Pilot, uh, this guy right here and uh, it is essentially just a volume knob. Um, now, you might be thinking, well, I've already got a volume knob on the front of my uh, audio interface, so why the hell would I want another one? Um, well, there is, there is good reason, actually. Um, the most useful thing that I've noticed while reviewing it is uh, previously to when I want to listen to my headphones, I've got to stand up and physically turn my speakers off. Uh, the reason for that being is the volume control on my the front of my interface controls both the headphone amp and the, the monitor output. So with this here, and I should explain, this sits between the output of your audio interface and the input to your speakers. With this guy here, I can turn the volume right down so there's nothing coming out of my speakers, put my headphones on, crank them up, and, uh, and use the volume control on the front of my interface to, uh, to control my headphones. Uh, so that's use number one. The, the other thing that uh, it could be used for is you've got this, uh, this long lead here. So if you've got a lot of people have synthesizers or controllers to the, to the left or right of you, not in your main kind of working area, uh, with this fly lead you could kind of pull it out and sort of pop it down on top of your monitor. Um, sorry, on top of your synthesizer or controller, whatever, and you've got a, a nice volume control for the, for the volume in your studio. So that's nice. Um, it is, uh, it's very nicely built, it's got, it's heavy, it's made of aluminium, and you can get, usually the sound is really the best way to try and explain the quality there, I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, yeah, so it's got a nice weight to it, feels really good, it feels good in your fingers, um, the, you really feel the weight when you sort of turn it, it's got sort of almost like a tiny bit of inertia, but it doesn't sort of go, uh, any further than you want to, but uh, yeah, just really nice. Uh, you've got a single cable coming out the back, which runs up this long here, and then you get to uh, this little uh, this little knuckle thing here, and then you come up here, and we have XLRs. We've got two male XLRs here that uh, go to your monitor, and then two female XLRs here that come from your audio interface. Um, so that is all very well and good. Um, another important point about this is that it is completely passive. Now you do have competing products, something like, for instance, the Mackie Big Knob. Now granted the Big Knob does uh, a lot of other, uh, other features bes besides volume control as well, but that's an active unit. So what that means is you've got, uh, you've got power going into it, and, and so there's, there's potential noise on all the components that it has to go through before it gets to your monitors. Whereas in this case, there's no, uh, there's no auxiliary power, there's no power coming from anywhere else. It's just the, the pure signal coming in, um, what will be potentially just one, will be just one potentiometer in there, probably like a four pole one, because it's balanced, I think that's right. Um, so that means that you're, it's basically not going to color the sound at all. You're not going to get any excess noise coming in. And uh, so while there are, like I say, there are other products out there, if they, uh, if they have the, if they're negatively impacting on your sound, even though they might be sort of nice and fun and convenient, then it's probably not worth having them in your chain if you can help it. Um, but not so for this bad boy because, like I say, it's passive. Uh, Balanced connectors, I think I said that, so the, it's all completely balanced to prevent interference. Now, it is uh, not all happy, happy, joy, joy, though. I do have um, uh, a few th things that I don't like about it. Um, first and foremost, with the, um, with the connectors here, so I don't have an XR, XLR output on my audio interface, so I had to go out and buy four new cables, which isn't, which isn't really a big issue, but what, um, what is more of an issue for me is you're adding connections to the system that you don't need. So granted, these are good quality XLR balanced connections, um, but the, the speaker outs, for instance, they're only, they're only kind of this, this, this far apart. Um, so if you do have an XLR input on your speaker like I do, um, you still can't use these because they, you'd have to be some sort of micro midget 
set up to have the speakers this basically touching. In fact, I don't even think I could get the speakers touching and get these in. Um, which there's no need really if they're just given us an extra couple like an extra whatever two meters on each each one um, then but almost anyone would be able to plug them directly in and you'd be able to remove one set of connections out of your signal signal chain which would have been positive um, so i'm not really i'm not really a big fan of that uh, the other thing i've noticed is if you turn this, if you turn it right down to where it's very quiet, I mean, below what you'd normally work at, but uh, near the near the end, the left speaker cuts out first, um, which is kind of annoying. So if you turn it down to sort of really quiet, you only get the you only get the right speaker. Um, uh, having said that, this is when I'm talking very, very quiet, very, very quiet, a lot, a lot quieter than you'd ever use, but still it would be nice if it was kind of smooth and perfect all the way down to quiet. Um, it's a small point, it probably won't impact um, you or re regular everyday use, but it's just something, something that I noticed. Um, so uh, sound wise, how does it sound? It sounds really good. I, I tried my darndest to, to hear any um, to, to hear any uh, diff any effect to the sound, um, I you know moving it up and down. There's no noise whatsoever. Uh, you know, be as rough or as quick as you want with it. It's it's completely clean. Um, that said, it's a very hard thing to AB. I, I wanted to just kind of set up an AB, but I can only really do it with it completely open, um, and you've got to physically change the connectors. So. It was a hard thing to AB, but I think given the, the technology, and I, I did have a good listen, I really couldn't hear any difference that this thing is making to the sound. So I, uh, I dare say that it is, it's a completely clean, uh, clean device. Another, another thing to consider is that this is an analog uh, volume control as opposed to a digital volume control, which is what you get on most uh, audio interfaces. Now, uh, why that makes a difference is most uh, interfaces will, when you turn the knob, it's changing the, the digital signal, it's making it quieter, and most interfaces will do that because it's a lot cheaper than building an analog circuit. But what happens when you turn the, the volume down in the digital domain is you're actually decreasing the bit depth. Um, so you're sort of truncating your, um, your bit depth down. So if you, have, if, you, if you physically turn it down on the front, you're actually turning it down, you know, you're turning down the um, amount of bits that it can express um, uh, amplitude in. Whereas if you have it set to full and then use, uh, use an analog device like this, then you've got your full bit depth um, uh, is expressed and then you can use this to sort of, uh, to, anal to attenuate it in the analog domain. That being said, it's, it's quite difficult to hear the, the, the truncation of using the, the volume control um, because generally speaking it's going to be a lot quieter when you turn it down. So um, it's, not, it's not a huge point um, that you're probably going to notice straight out the bat, but it's, you know, technically it is a point worth considering uh, that you're, you're not truncating the sound when you turn it down if you use an analog device like this one. Um, okay, so this is, uh, I think it retails for around about £75. I've seen it for as cheap as £50 for a new one. Um, is it expensive for a, for a potentiometer? Well, yeah, it is expensive. Um, but having said that, I think that it, the job that it does, it does very well. It feels like absolute quality. It's beautiful. It looks great. Feels awesome. Sounds perfect. Um, so when you when you put it like that, then it's actually it's kind of good. It's kind of cheap uh, in a way, in a in a strange kind of way. Um, you know, TCR Electronic they make some great kit. They do like the System 600, like some really professional mastering grade stuff. So they know how to make good kit. Um, and so I think it's I think it's a deal actually. I think it's worth uh, it's worth the investment. Um, I've in reviewing this one, I've become very, very attached to it. In fact, I don't think you're going to get this back, TCA Electronic. Uh, I just, I, I like it. It's just too useful. It's just a useful thing to have around. Um, the small, the small footprint as well. Uh, I've used mixers in the past to to control my monitoring and it takes up a big footprint. With this here, you know, things can get pretty messy on my desk if I'm honest pretty quickly. Uh, and taking up a small little footprint like this that you can move around really handy. So for me, it is a big ramble, but a thumbs up for the uh, TC Electronic Level Pilot. It's a cool device. It does a very 
small, simple job, but it does it very, very well. That concludes my review. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, as always, head down to the dspproject.com. While you're there, if you can subscribe, it really helps us out. And finally, if you want to get a hold of me, direct send an email to inbox at the dspproject.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>